was a bit shorter than I had planned on cutting my fringe, but it usually goes out fairly quickly. So I feel like it's okay. Guys, look at these shoes that I just found for eight pounds. Hopefully they fit. I think they do. I think they're my size. Probably they're quite fast. <laughs> I love this so far, but we have nowhere to put it. Happy New Year, everyone! It is my first video of 2024, which is crazy. We are still at home, as you can probably tell but we are moving into the flat properly at some point, I think, this weekend. So there's a lot of things to do this week, but we just went to some charity shops to try and find some furniture and stuff like that. Also, hopefully this angle's okay now. I'm looking at it, it looks kind of squint. We were not successful finding any furniture, unfortunately, but we did find a few other things. We saw some nice furniture, but just none of it was perfect, except I loved that chair and the fit still. We just don't really have any space, but I'm like trying to think of somewhere we could put it, but it's just, there's just not really anywhere we, it can go. But we did get a couple other things. So I actually bought a pair of shoes in the first charity shop, some guest shoes. These were eight pounds and they are so nice. They look like this. Look how nice these are, wee heels. Um, except they are a little small because they say a five on them, but then they say 36 and the 36 isn't a five, as far as I know. So they are a little bit tight, but I reckon I could still maybe get away with them. And if not, I'm sure I could probably sell them on like Depop or something. And then we also ended up buying this picture. It's a print in this really nice frame. This was seven pounds. And it is a print of a painting by James K called the Seine at Paris. If you've watched any of my other vlogs where I talk about the flat and stuff like that, we're going for a very like antique, vintage sort of feel with some hints of like Paris, because I love Paris. We still have quite a lot of furniture to get. I really need a desk, that's our like main thing right now. And I saw one in Ikea, but I just really wanted to buy one that was old and vintage and second hand, but I might have to settle for the Ikea one, but the Ikea one was expensive. Spent. Like, it's not even like it was not cheaper. Much. We still have pretty much the majority of all of our things to take up to the flat, which is not going to be fun. We definitely thought we were going to be a lot more organised and have already brought everything up by the start of January, but we're not organised at all. We have just got to Ikea. We actually went here a couple of days ago, but we needed to come back to get some, what are they called, rug? Underlays. Rug underlays and maybe a chest of drawers. A teeny little baby chest of drawers. Also my favorite. And that panda. Should we get it? just got to the flat, we have brought a lot of things up, but we were planning on unpacking a lot of things today. However, we were a bit late in leaving and we also really want to go to this antique shop in town and it closes at five and it's already like four. So we'll have to come up probably tomorrow and start unpacking everything. We also didn't get the chest of drawers from Ikea because they didn't have it, but we did get the rug things. He said we don't actually have our rugs yet. So not as a productive day as we had planned. Also, something very exciting is my friend texted me this morning and said that they're clearing her grandpa's house and he has loads of furniture and it's all like old antique stuff that goes perfectly in the flat and she asked if we wanted any of it. So that is so great because it means there's going to be some things we don't have to buy ourselves. So we don't know when we're going to get all of that, but it is so good and I'm very, very excited. Thanks, Maisie. And yeah. Hopefully, by like, maybe this time next week, 
we'll all be moved in, all of our furniture and stuff like that, but it's definitely taken a lot longer than we expected it to. But now we need to go to the antique shop. I really still need a desk and we need like a thin chest of drawers to go in our room. So hopefully we can find something like that. Also, we got this floor lamp the other day from Ikea. I built it all myself and it looks great. Fits perfectly in the corner. Our two rugs that we ordered came this morning, so I wanted to give you a little haul. They actually came pretty quickly. We've ordered one for our bedroom and one for the living room. So this is the one for our bedroom. It is this blue and white rug. Hopefully it looks okay when it's out. I also definitely thought it was gonna be a lot comfier than it is. It feels kind of rough, but Hopefully it'll be fine anyway. Then for the living room, we ordered this one. We'll get them out at some point to show you, but it's like a kind of pale green kind of color. I'm excited to put them both out. I'm hoping it makes everywhere feel a little cozier because right now it still feels very cold and not very homey. So I'm hoping that will fix that. Also on our way back up to the flat, we stopped at Aldi to get a few things because we are going out for drinks tonight with one of our friends for her birthday. And I wanted to get her a birthday present, so I have bought her the first two Bridgerton books because I have been reading the Bridgerton series right now and it is so good. If you guys are looking for like a fairly easy read and you like this kind of book, then I would recommend this so much. I think I've spoken about this, to be honest, very much, channel because I'm kind of like obsessed with them right now. But I just finished the third one and I am about to start the fourth one and I'm very, very excited, but I thought I would get her the first two. I think she'll really like them. And then I also picked up the next two that I needed, which is five and six. And I think this is, five is about Eloise and six is about Francesca. So, very, very excited about these. We also want to quickly pop to Waterstones because I also want to get her The Secret History because I know she wants to read it and I read it recently and it was amazing. So I want to pick that up for her. Before we go out tonight though, I think we maybe want to go to another antique shop, which is in Annie's Land, which we haven't been to yet. This is literally the only one I can think of that we haven't been to and see if they have a desk. We did see one in the antique shop yesterday, which we're still maybe contemplating, but we're worried it's gonna be a bit short. It also is kind of expensive. It's a bit more than we had wanted to spend on a desk, but it is really nice. So we need to go and measure it. We need to take the tape measure actually, and maybe go to the other antique shop, but it is already almost four and they all close at five. So we, Definitely had a bit of a late start today. As you can also see behind us, we literally have not unpacked anything and we're meant to be moving in tomorrow. So tomorrow's probably gonna be a busy day, I think. This is the desk that we saw online. That's big enough. Guys, the antique center has closed the other day. It's not even five yet. We didn't really like the desk in the other antique shop we went to. It was like, okay, but we both thought it was kind of sad looking. Yeah, it was, I, I used the word oppressive. It yeah. Like yeah. Whereas the one in here was nicer than what we saw yesterday. Uh, but the closed. So I guess we'll have to come back okay. tomorrow. We'll go to Morrison's then for dinner. this Smirnoff Mango and Passion Fruit Fizz, I think it was called. So let me try it. Kind of sad if I like it. It's very sweet. I'm about to order us dinner because I have a delivery discount. So we thought we'd treat ourselves. We need to try and tidy before we go. It's only half past five and we are not going out until seven. So I think we're gonna try and tidy as much of the living room as we can so that when we come back up tomorrow to bring more stuff, Hopefully all of this stuff won't be lying here, but I highly doubt we're gonna do it all. We are also going to Edinburgh tomorrow morning for like kind of a little morning out. Danny's mum 
needs us to go get something for her and we thought that it could be fun to have like a little day out before Danny starts back at work but we can only really spend the morning there as soon as so we're literally meant to be moving in tomorrow and we also need to go back to that antique shop to look at the desk but we are going to maybe go to a few in Edinburgh and see if we can find anything different but I feel like the ones in Edinburgh are going to be really expensive not that the ones in Glasgow aren't but most of the furniture we've got have been from charity shops and antique shops that are not in Glasgow that are like outside of Glasgow and they are a lot cheaper the ones in Glasgow are very expensive but as I've mentioned like 10 billion times we can't seem to find a desk in any of the cheaper ones unfortunately so I feel like we're gonna have to spend a bit more which is really annoying also for my outfit tonight I am wearing this Jacques Mousse cardigan that Danny got me for Christmas with this top and then my house is Sunday trousers which you've probably seen quite a lot I wear them very frequently. I'm not 100% sure about the neckline with this cardigan but I couldn't find anything else today so this is what we're going for. Danny just got back from the shops and he ended up getting If We Were Villains because The Secret History was out of stock which I'm not actually surprised at because I feel like I've seen loads of people talking about it recently on TikTok but Danny actually bought me this for Christmas as well but I haven't started reading it yet so we've got that Got the first Bridgerton, got the second Bridgerton, and then we also bought her a bottle of Prosecco and this card, which has cats on it, which is funny because Lucy's actually allergic to cats. But we thought we'd get it anyway because we've got bones. Okay, this rug did not work quite as well because obviously we wanted it a bit further down here but we accidentally chipped the door if you can see there on this bit so we realised that like the door can't really go past it that well which is a bit of a shame because I feel like we've basically covered the whole rug up with the bed except on the side you can also see it but yeah I don't really know what we do in this situation so we're just gonna leave it like this for now